Okay, so I'm standing in front of my work right now. I'm on my way out, on my way to the CrossFit gym. I don't have a lot of time, but I just wanted to say hello, welcome to the video. It's gonna be awesome. I have two things I wanna do in this video. One, talk about something. Two, work out. Those are my points. That's what I wanna get done. We're gonna get it done. It's gonna be awesome. See you at the gym. Okay, as per usual, we've got a strength portion first and then a Metcon second. So, uh, for the strength thing, we're doing five by five back squats. Oh yeah. <laughs> something I want to talk about like I said earlier it's a different day um, the thing that I want to talk about we're just gonna try it we're gonna spitball and see how it goes and if we don't like it then I won't do it again and if we do like it then I will do it again um, it was just the idea of scaling weight or RXing weight now for the people who don't know what that means what RX is is that is the weight that is placed on the whiteboard that is the weight that for the day they expect people to do now, if you do it RX, it means you do it exactly the way that it was written down. If you scale the weight, um, or the rep scheme, or the movement, 
it means that you're doing it to make it easier for you. Does it mean it's worse? Does it mean that you're less of an individual for doing it? Just means that specific skill you need to work on. I guess my, my contention is, what I'm trying to say, what my point is, is to not be discouraged by these, by the fact that you need to scale. I think if anything, I think it takes a mentally stronger person to say, I'm gonna scale this weight, versus the person who goes, no, I'm gonna push through, I'm gonna keep on going. And then that's the person you end up seeing as the uh, back injury, or they end up hurting themselves, or they're always out because of an injury, or whatever. Kind of the person who gives that reputation to CrossFit of always being injured is a person who's not willing to admit when they don't have a skill down, they don't have a weight down, but they want to do it anyway. Here, when I first started CrossFit, it was because of the CrossFit Games pretty much around that exact same time. And I would get so mad at myself when I had to scale something. Again, I've only been doing CrossFit for five months, six months max, maybe. And um, I would get so, I still, it's something I'm intentionally working on. It's something that I'm purposely going, you know what, no, it's okay. It's okay to be um, scaling, it's okay to do a lower weight, it's okay to do a different skill. Because I look at this and I kind of get frustrated, like why can't I do this skill? Other people are doing it in the gym. Um, and so for me to get frustrated when I see a movement, when I see a weight that I have to scale, um, it just doesn't make sense. Because if what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be a better version of me, if I'm trying to become a better athlete, if I'm trying to become a better crossfitter, um, I should be looking at the longevity of the goal. I shouldn't be looking at the fact that, okay, for this one day I wasn't able to get this workout done. Instead I should be focusing on the fact that, hey, I'm learning the skill, I'm learning this idea, I'm learning this concept, I'm, I'm getting comfortable with this weight, so that I can move forward into this next weight, into this next ability, into this next skill, whatever it is. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Do what needs to get done. Do you need to lower that weight? Then lower that weight. Do you need to uh, adjust the skill? Then adjust the skill. But make it so that you can be better longer and not get a good weight, have a good name on the scoreboard, and then be out of commission for a week. Because, like, literally, like, what use is that? What point is that? That doesn't help anyone. That doesn't help you. It doesn't help... Um, your fitness goals, it doesn't help anything. Also, let me know if you liked this. If you liked this idea of me walking, me talking to the camera, me uh, just rambling on. I've done it a couple times now. Um, and it's not that I have had a bad response, I just haven't had it really a response at all. Now I'm walking backwards because the lighting's better. Let me know what you think, leave it in the comments. That'd be great.